his government could be established and upheld forever with justice and righteousness. And no earthly government policy or manifesto can achieve this. Indeed, only the zeal of the Lord, the Lord Almighty, the mighty one of Israel can do this. The resurrected Lord Jesus Christ is waiting with nail marks in his hands for the day when he can open his arms up and say to us face to face, it was worth it for you and you and you and you and you. Do you see him? And so let's let the cross continue to be the motivation for us and for our people to speak to a lost world. The um, whole book of Isaiah, as we've been seeing, is about how is God going to restore justice and righteousness to his people and to his world? So how is justice to be realized in the world? What is the church to do? Well, it's to continue the ministry of Jesus. The good news is the message of forgiveness and of freedom. It's the message of liberation and of justice. It's actually the message that our world is longing for. Gospel proclamation. Lift your eyes to see that the war against evil won't go on forever. Keep on preaching the gospel of grace. Keep walking justly and loving mercy because you see with the eyes of your heart that a new age is coming.